Here's the question. Did he predict his own death in lyrics he wrote decades earlier? The haunting song, Sometimes It Snows in April. In an eerie coincidence, Prince died on April 21st. This song was first recorded on April 21st, 1985. All the things they say never land. He gave the hint that his life was not safe. He was threatened. He felt threatened, so he posted those to his followers. And then, moments later, he is found dead. The Simpsons have revealed who runs the United States of America. They're all covered with filthy germs, aren't they, Smithers? Why, what do you mean, sir? Freemasons run the country! Unfortunately, there are certain stars who won't do what we want. What's their problem? <laughs> They're still alive. And then we thought, who's good at killing celebrities? Me! That's right! Homer, would you be willing to acquire some more, um, uh, accounts for us? Well, you know, it is awfully hot today. <laughs> no, I'm too cold. Mm. Psycho killer! spoken about this before but I was born epileptic and uh, I used to have seizures when I was young and uh, my mother and father didn't know what to do or how to handle it but they did the best they could with what little they had mm -hmm. and uh, my mother told me one day I walked into her and said uh, mom I'm not gonna be sick anymore and she said why and I said because an angel told me so now I don't remember saying it. That's just what she told me. I was pretty wild in my younger days. And, uh, you don't have to do what I did. You don't have to make any of the mistakes I made. Uh, the future's in your hands now. And, uh, world is really yours. There's a change in America that's going on right now and everybody can feel it and we're going to be the beacon to the rest of the world. Please, please be seated. All praise and thanks to the Most High Jehovah. I want to thank you, Alicia, Andre, Big Boy. Much respect to y'all. Without any real spiritual mentors other than artists, whose records I admired, uh, Larry Graham uh, yeah. being one of them. Uh, I embarked on a journey more fascinating than I could have ever imagined. Um, but a word to the wise, without real spiritual mentoring, too much freedom can lead to the soul's decay. And a word to the young artists, a real friend or mentor is not on your payroll. A real friend and mentor A real friend and mentor cares for your soul as much as they do their own. This world and its wicked system will become harder and harder to deal with without a real friend and a mentor. And I wish all of you the best on this fascinating journey. It ain't over. Peace. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to say is um, Dumb, 
Don't be fooled by the internet. Uh, it's it's cool. It's cool to get on the computer, but don't let the computer get on you. It's cool. It's cool to use the computer. Don't let the computer use you. You all saw the Matrix. There is a war going on, the battlefields in the mind, and the prize is the soul. So, let's be careful. Very careful. Thank you. When I saw the uh, State of the Black Union, Dick Gregory uh, really moved me and a lot of my friends. I show it to everybody who comes over the house, especially white folks, because they need to hear that, you know, so that they know more about all of us. Mm -hmm. Because um, what he said affects all of us. He said something that really hit home about um, this phenomena of chemtrails. You know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time. And so oh, that's cool. A jet just went over. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. And the next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing and you didn't know why. Okay, and, and you really didn't know why. I mean, everybody was fighting. So he, he started riffing about the chemtrails. And he started to say things that uh, hit home so hard. And I would recommend that everybody try to get what he said online or wherever and try to get a copy of it and just listen to it because the, uh, I was so moved that I had to write the song. The other thing is the first line of the song says I was born uh, on the same plantation in the United States of the red, white, and blue. And we live in a place now that feels just about like a plantation. We're all indentured servants, you know. Um, when I found out there were eight presidents before George Washington, I wanted to smack somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to know why I was taught otherwise. Just tell me the whole story. I'll fill in the blanks, but don't, you know, don't tell me something that you think I'm supposed to know. Um, prophecy is what we all have to go by now. It's very interesting. I did a sold out concert in uh, uh, London. We played 21 nights in a row and all the concerts were sold out. When I would watch television over there, and you'd see the United Nations uh, feed, the direct feed from the United Nations. Mm -hmm. You'd hear them talk a lot about religion. You'd hear the Bible mentioned constantly. This is not what we're used to in the United States. It's almost as though there's no need for God and no need for religion and um, justice in politics. So there's supposed to be a separation of church and state over here. Um, we can't have a separation of state and morality, though. Mm -hmm. And once we got together, um, it was, we clicked. It was pretty easy. And uh, the most interesting thing about her is how rapidly she picked up understanding of Scripture. Mm -hmm. Because I pretty much talk about that with everybody I know. Because it uh, uh, informs my life so much now. You, though, a person in show business, is almost dependent on recognition. Mm. You stop being prince. Well, I, that's a good point. I pretty much wanted to be dependent upon uh, God. And when you get the inner calling to do something and you know it, that you're being inspired by God, you pretty much uh, know you better answer that call or suffer the consequences. You think this was God-inspired as well? I, I do believe, yes. The more stuff I write, and you write a lot of stuff, uh, the closer I come to my own destination. What's your definition of your own destination? Uh, I would say the complete oneness with the Spirit of God and uh, knowledge of the truth. Uh, Larry and I have been, uh, he's been so kind as to help me with a lot of things that I didn't quite have a firm grip on. Uh, 
There's a lot of temptation out in the world, and it uh, can confuse you and get you wrapped up in something that keeps you from the truth. But uh, with a loving brother like that by your side, you usually uh, you do all right. So you are a loving brother, aren't you, Mr. Gray? I try to be. <laughs> <laughs> you always succeed in doing that, sir? Yeah, so, yeah I, I feel so. We have a very close relationship. We spend a lot of time uh, digging deep into uh, the truth and deep into gaining more knowledge and drawing closer to our creator and uh, that's very, very important and then as a result then you become closer to people around you that you love and that love you so uh, i studied the, i started studying the bible once i changed my name back and uh started studying with my good friend larry graham i used to play with sly and the family stone and he helped me to uh, uh just look at the bible in a very practical way to cut through all the dogma and the thing that is kind of separated religion in the first place. I just wanted a, a clean, simple approach to it. And it, it helps you with your music as well. Well, no, definitely. I mean, uh, it's going to help you with every aspect of your life. Uh, once you can uh, clean out the cobweb, so to speak, then you're going to see everything a little bit more clearly. Just be. Bear- 